Hey guys, welcome back to Police News and Videos here on YouTube. Here is a special report. On February 22, 2024, at approximately 7.12 p.m., Officer Daniel was assisting with an unrelated matter when Peggy Abbey approached him with a report and requested documentation. Abby shared her concerns regarding a statement made by Pamela Bailey about potentially damaging multiple trailers within the campground. According to Peggy Abbey, three nights earlier, Bailey reportedly made a concerning statement to Peggy's daughter about possibly causing harm to their home. Peggy requested this report to support her application for a temporary protective order, which is known as a TPO. This video is a story in its entirely as it's played out. If you like it, please be sure to like, share with a friend, and please subscribe. Batman is? 100. 100, okay. How about Israel's? Israel's, let me go in there and look at my paperwork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place. It's a, it's a entertainment, man. So 100 like, is like Batman. It's like a reality TV show of this place, man. Go ahead. You can do the report because I got yeah. interested your friend or someone you need to make you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. So once you make these three. Three days ago. Three days ago? Alright. She was going to burn down my place. She was going to burn down Israel's place. And what's Brian's? What they call him over there? Brian. What the Brian? No, what's Joe's place? You're a lot 81. Yes. That is the one down there where. Yeah. Yeah. 423 radio. She sneaks in here all the time. Yeah. Can you open me a separate call out here? Maybe the 39 when you're ready for it. Shannon have phone service? She seems overwhelmed right Shannon now. doesn't have it. no phone services I know of. Oh, nice. But I can tell you exactly where it's at. Just trying to do, I guess, my due diligence to make sure the gun was was hers or wasn't hers. Probably eight. <laughs> Thanks, Peggy. <buddy. laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> do you want me not be honest? No, no, I love the honesty. <laughs> I've always been honest with you and I know that's it. it. I know. No, I said, I guess she was related to y'all. I guess there. Something. There ain't no fucking relation. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> that's the sister of the one that I said Amazing Grace to. Remember? Yeah. There you go. There's no. Relation. She said like in law or something. There ain't no relation. Charlie Echo Echo The only relation I have here is James and the shit and my grandkids. Yeah, I'm not careful with you. Yeah, I got two of them. Oh, he's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> he's no in law or anything like that. He's a friend. Yeah. I'm not happy with this one either. I'm not happy with that one over there either. You know you're not doing anything. I know. I'm a bad one. You work at Walmart then? Not Did. anymore. He doesn't Did. work nowhere no more. Okay. 423 ready. Are you ready for the 39 on this second call out here? Move in. That's another one I want you to run a name on too. Who? All good for your call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ball ground. Ball ground. But, anyways, I want to know what you're doing. It'll be a signal 40 call at Lake Mont Campground, Lock Machine 107. All right. So you said three days ago, Michelle Bailey, Pamela Bailey, is that the same? Pamela Bailey, yeah, yeah. Michelle Bailey. I just want to make sure we're talking about the same person, yeah. right? Okay. Let me show you a picture of her. No, I, I, I'm familiar with her. 
Uh, yeah, so she three days ago she was down. Israel's and what's Brian? I don't know his last name, but they call him Batman. Batman down in the middle section. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm oh, familiar with what you know. What lot number Batman is? How about Israel's? Israel's. Let me go in there and look at my paperwork. Okay. <laughs> I love this place. It's a it's entertainment man. So one hundred is like Batman. Like a reality TV show of this place, man. For real. Of course, I like trying to condemn it. Mm. I'm actually shocked. All these pine trees are still standing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where where was the where where were you when she made these threats? I was in my house and. Okay. She made the threats over at my daughter's house, and my daughter called right. me, and right. then she was walking around, and that's when I put the camera on. Were you referring to, like, point campgrounds? Okay, so you didn't actually hear her make the threats. Right. Where, my daughter where, did. Okay, yeah. where is that at? Right over there. there. What, what number is that? Oh. Yeah, it's 95 something. Here we go. I didn't take you guys to it. <laughs> Ninety five A. Ninety five A. I didn't even know there was A's and B's. Oh yes, there is in this game. Uh, what's her name? <laughs> Your daughter. Sheila. Sheila. All right. So, so she, so she was at your daughter's. Yeah. At ninety five A, and she just randomly said, "I'm going to start burning places down." Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the truth. And who, who else was in there that heard this? I don't know. Ask well, her. Because okay. my daughter came over with an axe, and I told her, I said, you know what? You don't hold a weapon in your hand, or you're going to go to jail. So, there you go. Because my daughter was going to axe her down. Okay. I'm sorry. So, if that was three days ago, so that it's Thursday night now. So, that would have been Monday night. Okay, any reason why we haven't called the police in the last three days if because we were concerned about this? Because the last time I called the police out here when Michelle Bailey was here. Yeah. She disappears, and y'all just rode around with the flashlights. You couldn't find her. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, ain't gonna happen. Okay. All right. So then the next night so is when your daughter you told you. Date? So Tuesday night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. And what's your name? Peggy Abby. All right. P E G G Y. Mm-hmm. And then last name A B B E Y. Very good. All right, your date of birth. Okay, cool. All right, do you know if Nashayla is home? Yeah. Yes, she is. She is. is. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And if you can't find it, I can, I can race straight it. across with yeah, you. I can. I can do it. Okay. I mean, do you know? Okay. So do I need to take this card with me when I go down to the courthouse to do it? Yes, yeah, so you. So do I go up on the third floor in magistrate, or where do uh, I? What do I get? Probate. Probate. You said TPO. So, considering there's an act of violence, the judge should take it somewhat more seriously. There you go. But give it so, about three to five business days. So my name is Officer Daniel. On the back of that card is mm -hmm. the case number. Okay, for this report, you just said you wanted it documented, right? So I can get the. Um, you get the TPO. Yeah. So I gotta go to Eckworth to get. So he's gonna finish his report. Let, wait that. Wait for it to be done. Three five business days. Get that printed out. Bring it with you. They're gonna okay. want to make sure that this at least. Can I go over to Eckworth to get that right. Or you can email it. Whatever you want. Say hey, I want the report to this. Just so you don't have to drive up there. Mm -hmm. Unless you just want to drive up there. I'll drive up there. Yeah. Whatever. 